All right, everybody. So um, today's class is going to be, can everybody see my screen here? Yes, I could see it. Perfect, thank you. Um, so today's class is gonna be a little bit more, um, just kind of like an initial setup. The reason we wanna break this down a little bit into a couple classes is because it, it can get very, um, uh, and I can honestly say it can get a little confusing at first. <laughs> I am going to show you guys at the very end where you guys can find some items um, if you've already played with this system. Uh, but for now, what we wanted to do is just kind of get you guys started on how to set up your um, Surefire uh, uh, top of mind um, CRM, as well as, um, you know, integrating it with uh, social media. Do keep in mind, this is limited on the social media it uses. Um, I wish it did use all the social medias, but it only uses um, Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how you guys can go ahead and integrate it with that, and as well as how to add contacts. So that's what's gonna be today. Um, as far as the contacts, I know a lot of uh, people have also asked about the CSV files when you're downloading them from other um, CRM system and uploading here. Um, I do know that it is uh, not restricted, but there's certain ways you have to download it. So I'm going to get that information for you guys as well. In, um, and not in this class, but I will have that information for you guys. For now, it's going to be mostly manual. Um, uh, right now, it's going to be mostly manual, you know, inputting, you know, especially as we go, you know, we're all picking up new clients and all that good stuff. Um, so when you log into your Surefire, you get your login and password, it's going to bring you to this dashboard here. Um, when it brings you to this dashboard, I mean, I already have my picture in there, but um, I, when you want to set it up, to set it up, I'm sorry, you want to go here to your account, to your profile, and you're going to see here, um, you know, this, um, let me move this over here, I'm not sure if it's blocking. You're gonna see here, it has some information already. Us, when we set up the account for you, we are gonna place certain information for you, like maybe your office phone number, or for sure it's gonna have your office email. So we do keep it with the office email address. We cannot have um, outside email addresses because this is um, you know, something that's gonna be connected with our company only. Um, you can here to be able to edit your signature and um, uh, picture and to upload this, but I will go ahead and um, once you hit here, edit my profile, it's going to bring you, or you can also hit, hit it over here, of course, it's going to bring you to this section here. For instance, in my case, I like to use my middle name. The reason I like to use my middle name is because a lot of people, when they see Jael Munoz, they think Jael is a guy's name, so they think I'm a dude. So <laughs> I end up, I prefer to use, add my middle name to my stuff so that I, you know, again, once I hit save, this is going to update. That way, you know, again, that's just what I like to use so that people can go ahead and know that I'm a girl. <laughs> um, you can go ahead and put your date of birth, your start date here at the company. That's just for, you know, your guys' purposes. But if you're going to end up using websites, right, you, um, like, for instance, I have my personal website which I have not updated. So you're gonna probably see another company on there, but so I have my personal website on here. So you can grab that URL and place it on your website here. Now, what this is going to do is if you're ever going to update certain things that you wanna to connect to your website or anything like that, you can be able to use that. So um, mailing address, normally the mailing address we use is our company address. Um, Billing address can be the same as the mailing address. Um, right, right now, I don't know each loan officer how you guys are going to be set up with this as far as, you know, having to, um, if you guys have to pay for a portion of it or not, I'm not sure. So right now, it's just going to be set up. Um, your mobile information, if you do have a primary phone number, like the office number with an extension, you can put that here. A lot of agents like to use or LOs like to use a toll-free number when you're advertising. So you can put that here. Here's where you would go with social media. Now, if you have like Google, uh, um, you know, like for instance, you can Google yourself, right? And you have, um, let me see here, like Yelp or Google. I don't know. Sorry guys, I don't have my Google link, 
But if you have like, for instance, Yelp, and you want to be able to have people, you know, have those links, you can place that here as well. Your Instagram page, like for instance, I do have my Instagram page and my Facebook page. So let's say Facebook. And I normally do it like this because what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to be able to sh make sure that when I'm actually searching it this way, that it's actually going to find my page, right? But you, you can grab your page. I, I didn't log into my Facebook, but so you can grab your page and put that here, right? No, facebook.com forward slash, I have it as high as my loan officer. You know, you could put your Instagram, Instagram, if I can spell. This is going to help so that when you guys have all this set up for your social media, you can save these changes. And for certain changes, we're going to go ahead and have to, you know, approve. But just keep in mind that these changes will, um, you know, like, for instance, if you're going to do flyers and you want to, um, or, or when we get to the single property websites, you want to um, share it to your Facebook and all that. This helps you if you already put this in here. So it makes it easier for you guys to be able to share to those websites. Now, um, the integration, what I mean by um, integrating to um, Facebook is here under integrations. You can add an integration. You can add Facebook or LinkedIn. There is, um, you know, the market mobility, mortgage coach. If you guys have these, if you don't have them, that's okay. Um, bomb, bomb. I, don't, I know a lot of agents use bomb, bomb. So let's say you go to Facebook. What it's going to ask you, of course, it's going to be to log into Facebook. So once you go in, um, if I remember, again, if I remember my password, when you go in and you integrate it, this is so that when you guys start doing, like, for instance, um, you know, posts, you can set up timers to do social media posts for you guys through this. This CRM is, is a, it has also a drip campaign. So let's see if I remembered my password. Oh, there you go. I guess I did. <laughs> so I know right now, like for instance, um, um, if you guys have like, you know how right now everybody's starting to try to steal your, your accesses, they're going to ask for a, you know, a, see now it's integrated. It's going to ask you for a code if you guys have that set up. I do. So that's why I went there. So I can continue. Um, so keep in mind what it's going to pick up. It's going to pick up your business page. You need it to pick up just, and, and as you guys can see, I actually have several business pages here that I manage, but it's going to only pick up your business pages. Um, you see here, it says my business page for Hyatt Munoz Mortgage Loan Officer. I'm going to click that because that's the one that I want to integrate with my Surefire CRM. So it will not pick up your um, personal. So keep in mind, this is going to be to integrate with your business page. So you do have to have that set up in, um, uh, prior. Now, if you guys don't know how to set up a business page for Facebook, let me know. I can help you guys directly with that um, uh, right now. I do have these uh, Facebook page set up already. So I'm going to click next. It's going to say, you know, that you want it to be able to receive emails. Um, it's going to auto default. Yes, I'm just going to click done um, for right now. And now it's integrating my CRM with my Facebook. So what that will do is when I want to start setting up drip campaigns, it's going to integrate with my, um, my, uh, business page to be able to set up those dirt campaigns or those posts um, to Facebook. Now it will show your primary page here, but keep in mind that's just because that's what you're logging in with. So I'm gonna hit save and I have now integrated my um, Facebook page. Now do keep in mind the reason it does ask for a renewal of sign-in is just because in case you change passwords and it's for your own security. It want, so in three months, I'm gonna have to re-sign in that integration. So do keep that in mind that it will require a renew. Um, so again, you can go back and add, you know, another integration um, and, and do LinkedIn uh, and to be able to, to, to also post in LinkedIn. 
Does anybody have any questions on the integration? No? Okay, so again, in the edit profile, it, you know, it's super simple, straightforward. It's just basically filling in the information that you, um, you know, want to go ahead and share. Again, your social media. This is super important because if you guys do want to um, share this information with your clients, you want to put them on here, you know, your Yelp, especially if you're trying to get like in the future, like reviews, your Google, Google reviews, all that good stuff. And again, just don't forget to hit save here. Your profile picture, you can, you know, change it here. You just hit edit my picture. You're going to hit, um, it's going to have here for you to um, upload it. You're going to click that and then you choose your picture and upload it. It will allow for you to do an, an edit, meaning if you need to crop it um, for, um, you know, to fit. So it'll allow you to do that, to fit that. You can add a signature. You're going to automatically have this signature here, which is your i -Core lending. This, this is important, guys, when you guys are doing flyers. So for you to have your picture and your logo, um, it's, it's important, it's, like I mentioned, especially your details, um, your, um, your Facebook, your, you know, you know, all these links here. It's important when you're doing flyers or the, the single property website. So, and I'm going to show you guys that when we get there, uh, uh, in the future, right now I'll show you like a little overview, but in the future, if you guys want to do that, it's important for you guys to put those there. Because again, if you want your flyers to be co-branded, you want to have your um, your picture and your logo there. So um, as you guys can tell, I already have that here. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and take you guys over to um, adding contacts. Do you guys have any questions on regards to updating your profile or integrations? No? OK. No. So, um, guys on how to add a contact so again like i told you guys today was a little bit more of how to just set up so that you guys can start using this um i am going to do another class for um the single property websites as well as um the um you know the rest of what you guys can use this for it's an amazing tool that we have for everybody so it's great when you guys want to keep you know yourself out there so in order to add a contact you want to go here on the um on the left side, you're going to see where it says contacts. And then you're going to it's playing with me. Hold on. View all contacts. And this is just going to take you to that page, right? That's a good question. So to Blanca, to get access to it, it's only going to be for loan officers. So this is only for licensed loan officers. So um, uh, their assistants can get access to it through the loan officer. So this is um, only for loan officers, licensed loan officers. Um, so here we go here to be able to add a contact. Um, so when you hit the contacts, you just hit the view all contacts. It's going to take you to this page. Now, this is where you would add buyers, you know, any type of, of um, you know, contact that you want to go ahead and market to, right? Uh, your realtors as well, they go through here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a realtor right now. So you will hit your add contact button and it's going to say, say who's the owner, right? So as an, as if you're like doing it as an admin, you can change here. If you're, if you're managing um, the, uh, this CRM for different loan officers, if you're, if you're an office assistant or loan officer assistant that's managing this for different loan officers, you can go in here and actually change who the owner of that contact is. So in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to add a contact. And, um, you know, again, you can, you know, get specific. You don't, you know, you can't, you don't have to specifically, but let's say I'm actually adding a real estate agent. Why do I want to add a real estate agent or a referral partner? Because if I'm going to be doing um, flyers, I want to be able to put him in a category type, right? Or a contact type. So he can either be a referral partner or a real estate agent. I'm going to add his email address.
And what is, why is this important? If Again, if you're doing flyers, you want to be able to add all his information up front because by the time you end up going to do flyers for your, your client, you'll be able to have all this information already in your system and you don't have to um, go back and do it. So um, I'm going to add his website. And then I do want to add his birthday. Why? Because let's say, for instance, you know, his birthday's coming up and I want to be able to shoot him a message saying, hey, happy birthday. I do, you know, you can also campaign to your realtor. So you can create certain campaigns. Um, you know, so we'll get we'll get to that as well, because I um, mean, you know, I want to put all that together. Here on the external ID will be your um, realtor's license number. So just keep that in mind. If you do have that, to add your realtor's license number. So contact preference, whether they want to be contacted via email or phone or their mobile or text message. You know, I'm going to put email here. Preferred mailing address can be their business. My source, you know, can be self. Let's say this is a borrower and the source is a specific realtor. You know, you can put that here too. What, who's, who provided this source contact? So I'm going to go ahead and add his phone number. And he has a work phone number, but I don't have that. So let's say I want to add my contact's mailing address. And he only wants to use the mailing address as his business. So I'm going to go and um, go to his employment. He's a realtor. Again, I can add his license number here. His work phone number, of course, will be um, his cell phone. Because again, if you're going to be doing flyers, you want to be able to have that. And again, you can use the company website here. If, if, if Most realtors are not going to want to put their co actual company website because when they want to market, they want to market, um, you know, their own websites because, of course, they're trying to get the leads. So we'll go ahead and copy the website and place it here because it's his own company. You can actually um, go ahead and, if, you know, if I had another... Um, uh, contact on here, let's say the spouse, it'll connect to that. So let's say, for instance, you have a husband and wife who bought together and you want to make sure that you're actually creating those relationships so that you're, you're, you're branding only, you know, the husband and wife, then you can put that on here. So let's say it's, it'll say Mr. and Mrs. You know, Munoz, then you want to go ahead and place that on here. Source, again, you can put if it's a realtor that referred you this, if this was a buyer, you can actually start typing in your, the source. And if it's saved on there, it's gonna look for it and it'll attach that source to it. Um, again, the contact, if you're gonna co-brand, let's say you're gonna be um, doing drip campaigns with this specific source and you wanna co-brand with your, with, your, um, with your realtor partner, you wanna put your realtor partner there, right? You wanna search it and it'll, and it'll actually search it and co-brand with that um, realtor partner when you're camp, um, doing a drip campaign to that source, to this contact. Again, if this um, agent, is this, if this is an agent, they have social media, you can definitely add that and you're gonna go ahead and hit create. And now I have successfully created a realtor contact um, um, contact. <laughs> so now let's say I want to go ahead and add their picture, all their stuff, um, on here so I can edit it and I can add the contact picture, right? So I want to be able to add this for my realtor partners because at the, at this point, I'm trying to make sure that my realtor partners are, um, you know, in, in, they're being able to be co-branded with me. So I'm going to go ahead and add his picture, his picture. And as you can see, like I said, it'll, it'll go ahead and um, crop it to where it needs to be. So I hit save. Save. And again, your realtor partner is going to want their, um, 
their their business and, um, logo or company logo also added to there. So you could do profile logo. You could do a secondary logo as well if you want. So I'm going to do this logo because you can. Um, uh, we have agents that, for instance, like this agent works for Excellence but has his own company logo. So you can add both logos because they want to also brand their logo, right? So they can get recognition. So we'll add that logo. We'll add a secondary logo. So you could go ahead and do that and you hit save image. And as you can tell now, it's already added on there, right? If you do need to edit anything in there, you can go ahead and edit that. To edit your contacts, you just hit this little edit button and you can go ahead and, um, uh, you know, add this. But now you can see my, my um, contact has been added. I've gone ahead and added all his information um, and I'm the contact owner. So when I go and do flyers with him, I'll be able to have all his information already in there to be able to co-brand and I don't, you know, have to be adding it continuously. Um, any questions on adding contacts? Let me look up here. Oh, good. Thanks. Okay, cool. So again, this was just a simple adding your contacts. Again, when you go to another thing that I did want to suggest, and I did um, learn this, um, that I think you guys should definitely do is add yourself as a contact. So the reason for that is, let's say, for instance, you want to test out a drip campaign, you know, when you go to do that, you can add yourself as a contact. And, um, you know, you can put it as a client, let's say you want to Put yourself as a client contact, you know, and then put your personal email address, right? Um, you can add yourself as a contact in this sense because you can test drive your um, your drip campaign to see if it's exactly how you want it to look at. So I definitely suggest you guys doing that to you know to add yourself. So that you can go ahead and and see those drip campaigns that are you gonna you know go ahead and put together, so that you can test drive that, you know. So you want to go ahead and add that again. You know, we can go ahead and put my spouse. That's my spouse. So as you can tell, now that I have a contact, I can go ahead and put him as my spouse, right? Or if he's my referral partner, or I want to co-brand with him. So as you can tell, you can do that here. So now I'm going to create myself right there. And now I'm a client. So again, as a client, I can go ahead and test drive dip, um, drip campaigns to go ahead and see um, um, your campaigns before you start sending them out. And you can actually change the contact information, you know? So let's say you go in here and you want to edit it. Um, you know, I want to edit because now I have two. So I'm going to hit edit. You can add pictures. And um, if you want to um, change it from the contact type, you made a mistake, you put it as a client and it's supposed to be a, a lead or a real estate agent or a partner, you know, you know, right here, um, a personal family member, you can go ahead and do that. So if you do decide to want to change it, you can click your little edit button here, your little three dots and hit edit. If you want to add notes or add tasks, if you have a task, hey, I need to follow up with this client, you know, follow up. So you can do, that's the cool part about this is it'll create, a, a, what do I need to do? I need to make a phone call, you know? So if you create that task, it'll actually give you a reminder. When that task is due, it'll pop up a reminder at here, right here in the top that you need to do that task. So, or it'll, you know, that way you can set yourself certain tasks. Like for instance, I was given a few leads yesterday that I need to make phone calls on. Or, or wait till the middle of next month to do. So I wanna create tasks, add my clients here, but guess what? Once I have it already set up, even if it's just a prospect, you can start prospecting them. You know, if maybe you don't have their email, but you have their phone number. You can shoot them text messages to start pros prospecting them. Um, Laka, you said you had a question? Yes, but you answered it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, how do we update rate to actual current pricing? Are you talking about for the um, flyers, and Angelica? Yes, when we do the open house flyers with financing options, I noticed that I'm not able to change uh, interest rates there. Yes, 
So that is actually something that I'm going to update for you guys today. Um, uh, it's something that is actually an admin. So you can shoot me a message, shoot me a message and say, hey, these rates are wrong. Can you update them? Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, um, I'm going to be updating a lot of this stuff myself because I'm now an administrator on here because I know that, you know, um, Christopher was an administrator, but sometimes he gets really busy because he's, you know, doing other company stuff. So, you know, you guys can shoot me a message or an email and I'm going to be taking care of all that for you guys. So I'm actually going to update them today. So um, if you guys don't have any more questions about contacts or integration or setting up your profile. No. If you don't, I, I'm just going to do a quick little overview of something that the cool stuff that you guys can do here. We are going to get deep. You're going to deep dive into it in the um, in the next class. Uh, I just uh, wanted to go, go ahead and show you guys when you guys go over here to your dash uh, to your uh, menu over here uh, under contacts. You have, you know, deals, marketing. If you click on the marketing, it's going to open up. Um, I'm sorry, guys, it just like kind of like goes a little crazy on me here. It's going to open up on the stuff that you guys have available here, right? So you you have forms, you got landing pages, um, flyers, so stuff like that that you can use. Something that I love, love, love about this is um, your single property sites. So what I mentioned the last time when I was um, talking about how you guys can um, look in the area of houses that are, are, are coming on the market that you guys want to hit up and say, Hey, look, look at this cool website I can do for you. Um, I'm going to do the next class I'm going to do is how to go ahead and do that with your, um, property sites and creating a single property site. But let's look at an example here that Alfonso has. If you see this here, this is the property sites that you guys would have created as a loan officer, and you'll see who your agent is um, that you're, you're um, co-branding it with, right? So let's just look at an example of, I, I, I can see all of them, of course, because as an admin, but take a look at this site. Just want to show you guys a little, look at how beautiful this looks. You can literally create this within a few minutes and go to the open house and actually show the agent, hey, look, I just created this website for you for this listing that you have. And you can show them, I can do this for all your listings in the area. Or, you know, if you work with me, this is what I can offer you. You, you When you go ahead and create it, you can actually link it to the MLS if they actually have it live. Some agents like to kind of like, you know, off market, um, you know, um, go ahead and uh, start uh, marketing their off-market deals so you can do off-market as well but if you link it to the mls um you can go ahead and, and it already pulls in the description the pictures you know you can um go through it and look at the pictures that the property has it does a gallery image uh, it gives you the location it look these these are actual interactive buttons if you look at recent if you click on recent sales it'll give you the recent sales in the area here um nearby schools these are things that you can he can let's say the agent he or she is doing an open house and they have something with them you can be like hey look you can share this link with the contact that walks in as a text message and they can interact with this while they're walking around the house you know, um, area details. What is the rent versus own? What is the commute? What is the income in the area? Um, the cost of living in the area. Again, this is interactive and it's going to pop up in our colors. Of course, our company colors are, are gold. So all this cool stuff, you can go. And of course, this agent is already co-branded here. Again, this is the listing agent. It's already, you know, if they want to see a showing because maybe, um, you know, they are not there in the open house, but you can show them, hey, you can shoot this out to your contacts in your contact list. And if they want to schedule a showing, they can. it's a click of a button. Um, loan comparisons. If you guys click on loan comparisons, it'll show them, hey, what if you go 5% conventional, FHA or 20% conventional? So it'll show them all this cool stuff. You guys, it's a click of a button, literally a click of a button. You guys add all this good stuff on here and you can present this to listing agents when you're out there trying to pick up more agents in the market, right? Um, what might your payment be? A borrower can actually go in and play around with this. Hey, I want to put 15% down. 
let me go ahead and see what this looks like if I put 15% down. What will my payment be? You know, set that value and look, it's going to go ahead and update this here. Boom. It just showed him, well, this is what your payment would look like at 15% down. Then get to know your mortgage pro. As you can see, Alfonso has set up his page and it has all his information on here. And, you know, they have an apply now button. So again, if they scroll down, hey, are you qualified? Yes or no? Want to schedule a call or apply now? So this is the cool part of this in, in CRM that we have, guys. Another really, really cool part is once you set this website up, it's a click of a button for flyers. Uh, if you guys click up here, these are all the flyers that you can print out for your agents. And you can show them this. Hey, you want to just shoot out a message right now with a single flyer? You go ahead and it, you have different types of flyers here. You have um, the commute, the cost of living. You have um, other types of, um, of flyers that you can share. You basically, most of the time you want to see some pictures or some, let's say you want to do the comparison. Look at how cool these flyers are. They have comparison and payment already. So let's say we click on this flyer right here. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to create the PDF. So now I'm going to go ahead and open the file. And then boom, we now have a flyer in seconds with a loan comparison that you can share with your agent. And it's co-branded. So let's say he goes, oh, you know what? I really want this flyer as soon as possible. Boom, within seconds, you have now created a, not just a website, but a flyer for your agent so that they can use. And it does have a QR code. So let's say he did print out a bunch of these flyers and he can put them in, um, you know, in the area. This QR code is going to send them to the website. So when they get here to this website, again, these um, interested buyers or um neighbors can go ahead and navigate through this cool, beautiful website and take a look at this property without even having set foot on the property just yet. So again, this is just a little something I wanted to show you guys what, what this does. This is my favorite, to be honest, guys, because it gives you pretty much the all in one, you know, and then if you want to share it to social media, you have the ability to go ahead and click that. And then you log in and you share this post or this link of this website to social media. So it does give you that ability. Again, same here, you want to post this on Instagram. You know, it gives you the option. What do you want to post? So you have the image and you're able to share and, and start marketing. Um, so you can show that to your agent that they can go ahead and click this, choose to click to open. And now they have a, um, a marketing tool that they can use to post it on their social media. Can you, can you just go back, Jill, and click on where you got here to this image template, like yes, the step absolutely. before all this? This one? Or, or the Instagram? Like where, um, from Surefire, how did you get here? Oh, okay. So when you yeah. go to your, when you're, let's say you came in and you logged in and it's going to log into your dashboard. So once you get to your dashboard, you're going to see here, you have um, these two, um, all these options here on the left. You're going to click on marketing and it's going to Okay, got it. Marketing. That's the one. And that is going to be your single property sites. Got it. So you do have flyers as well. So again, guys, we do have a lot of stuff that we're going to cover um, for you guys. Right now, what we wanted to kind of show you is you're going to click public flyers. This is stuff that you guys can um, set up campaigns for. We are going to go through that. We're setting up another class to go through all of that, how to set up those single property websites. It's pretty easy. Um, I just want to make a full on class for that for you guys so that we can um, learn how to set up these, these um, awesome websites that we can use to start going out there and getting some more business and, um, and showing our agents what we have to offer them because you know, what agent does not like free stuff, right? <laughs> and, and I'm going to be honest, what are the, the, the majority of these agents are paying for these landing pages for these property websites. They are paying for them. So if we can offer it as a part of working with us, it's, it's a huge, um, um, you know, gift that we can give them so they can start gifting us clients. <laughs> 
Um, so that's it for today, guys. I wanted to just kind of show you why it's super important for you guys to go in and start setting up your top of mind surefire. Uh, it's a great, amazing tool to use. Again, I am going to start um, setting up these classes for the, um, for the flyers and the single property sites so that you guys can start using them. And, um, and I'll get you guys the info on the next class, um, Angelica, for sure. Because um, right now, what they wanted us to do is make sure that all of our loan officers are setting up their pages so that we can start utilizing this awesome tool to get us, you know, going with some more business and, um, and, you know, creating, you know, getting our, getting ourselves out there. This is huge for us to use. I, like I said, not, I can't, I can't stress it enough. These single property sites are amazing and it's a quick tool that in a matter of seconds, your agent can have flyers and they don't even have to ask you anymore. If you share this link for that single property site, the minute you share this link with them, they can do it themselves. They can click on this and the info's already there. They can just click on the flyer, create the PDF and print them out when they're gonna do open houses. You know, um, most offices have printers, right? <laughs> so, and, and this is a great tool that we can offer them, you know, to be able to have these flyers at any, any given moment, even if they wanna go ahead and grab them and text message them. Cause you know, you can text message a PDF, you can do that and just be able to show the information to the clients that are coming into the open house. Um, any questions, any other questions guys? Yes, I have a question, Daryl, it's Karen. Um, have, will you be sending us the Surefire website and the credentials that we need to log in? So, um, yes, um, usually what happens is that we have to make sure that you guys are fully licensed. Um, and then once you guys have been fully licensed with us, we go ahead and create those, um, um, I'm sorry, brain farted. We'll create your login and password and send it out to you. Okay. And yeah. now just another quick question. You might be going over this in the next course, but under the master property list and I and the listing info, um, these are all this is all something that we create ourselves with the template that is already um, there in the software. Correct? So when we get to this, I will show you guys how to do that, but, but I'll just, just to kind of show you a little, if you click on this little edit button, it, um, and, and mind you, you're, when you hit, I'm, I'm just going to go and show you really quick. When you guys do an add new, um, it gives you that ability to do the MLS. When you place that MLS number and hit the state and hit search, it'll, it, it can auto-populate the, the information from their Oh, MLS. So if they update it, it'll automatically update that MLS information that you're seeing on the single property site, which like the description or, or things like that. Okay, got it. So user friendly. That's actually yes. Super, that's why I mentioned this is a super easy class that I'm going to do next so that you guys can start utilizing this tool. Um, the biggest thing is that uh, one of the things that, you know, of course, Christopher and Yessi want us to do is make sure that you know, you guys are already creating your, your, you're setting up your surefire because um, a lot of us, like for instance, myself, I honestly don't have my contacts input in, in any CRM, my realtor contacts. So when I saw this, I was like, holy guacamole, like this is amazing. You know, like it's so easy for you to just create these flyers. And even when you're doing, you know, the co-branding um, emails, you can co-brand them when you're doing drip campaigns, which is super cool because your realtor partners are gonna love that, that you're keeping them with your clients in the loop, even if you closed a deal. Um, uh, Dana, um, if they did not use the, um, if they never gave you a loan, you can you delete the contact or the property website? Okay. Thank you, because I've worked with realtors for 30 years in a different line of work and they use and abuse you. And so- Yes, they do. They totally do, girl. <laughs> so that's why I said to know. <laughs> yes, 
let's say you do create a website and they're literally, like you said, just use, you can delete it. You do have a little trash button here that you can delete the, the actual website so that they don't have the ability to just go in and compete and com continue to abuse you. <laughs> And then okay. the contact the same. The contact you if you just want to remove them as a contact, um, you can go in here and you can delete them. So yes, so you do have the ability to delete contacts and um, delete um, uh, the websites if they're not using them. Yeah, because we used to give out all kinds of free things at the title insurance company, and so I would just make up a story and say, well, my manager said if they don't see any deals coming back in within like you know a certain period of time then you know he automatically deletes you it's not me you know what I mean I just you have to say something because you know you have to give them a reason to be able to you know, work with yeah. you yeah. yeah no absolutely I completely okay agree. And, and that's why um, the, the cool part of it is, is yes, when you are in your, um, your Surefire and you have created these websites, you can mm -hmm. definitely delete them. So you have, a, this is extremely user-friendly guys. So it's something that I highly recommend go in, set up your, your, um, your, your dashboard, your account, set up your profile, put your picture, put your info, start adding your agents, or let's say you want to target agents. It's so easy, guys, to literally Google an agent, you know, and find their 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 phone number. And I'm sorry, you know, their info. It's so easy. Well, I mean, there's a lot of Juan Carlos Munoz anyway. Unfortunately, my husband's like got a really common name, but you know, like it's so easy for you guys to literally go in and Google or or even Facebook. You know, go in and, and Google or Facebook, um, you know, see, look, Juan Carlos Munoz Realtor, boom, I just found his picture. Let me go ahead and download it. I'm not signed into, to, you know, but let me go ahead and download it. Let me set it up. Let me shoot them over. If you're trying to campaign to these agents, let me shoot him over a sample of one of his last listings that he had, you know, and show him what I can do for him. Because that's what realtors like. Aside from free drinks, they like free websites. <laughs> <laughs> so if you got you know if you guys go in set up your surefire i highly recommend it if you do not have access to it yet shoot me a message just do keep in mind it is for fully licensed los with us um shoot me an email um and i will go ahead and make sure to get you guys um set up and and um it, and that's pretty much it guys thank you yeah, no problem. So the next class, I mean, we'll keep you guys posted, but the next one that is going to be definitely on doing the property, single property websites and utilizing a little bit more. And I am going to change the, the rates and all that good stuff so that you guys can update that. So I'm going to go in and today and change those rates so that if you guys do decide to use them this weekend um, or have used it and you know how to use it and you want to use it, or if you want to use it this weekend and you need it, shoot me a message and I can show you quickly so that we can start you use utilizing it more. But the next class is going to be how to utilize your flyers and your single property sites. So let's see, no questions. So if you guys don't have any questions. We, we will, um, when we start making the attempt to use it, we'll have a bunch Exactly, of and this is the <laughs> point, right? This is the point to get you guys to actually start using it. This is super, super great information and great, um, it's a great tool to use to be able to start getting more business. But if I you agree. guys do have, um, you know, any questions now, if you wanna use it this weekend, go ahead and feel free, contact me. I'm more than happy to help you. Um, um, but for now, this is what we wanted to do is to get you guys started, to get you guys going so that you can start Messing around with it first, if you don't want to, you know, if you're a little uncomfortable, mess around with it. Go through all the, the, the little sites here, especially your marketing section, because you're going to start seeing all the cool and awesome things that you guys can do with this. And then if you have questions to, to, to use it for something for this weekend, shoot me a message. I'm happy to help. I you do have a question. I did go on this site and there is a VA flyer in there. And I don't know if you can see or that I try to upload my photo. I try to do all kinds of stuff. So either 
I wasn't like added as a user and I thought that everybody could just go on there and use it. Mm -hmm. And this was about <clears throat> a good six months ago. Okay. And I could um, maybe four months ago. Okay. <laughs> Feels like six months. And um, <clears throat> I couldn't get on. I couldn't do anything. It wouldn't let me do anything. I thought, God, this is so hard. And uh, you're making it look like it's super easy, but I'm thinking maybe I just wasn't on there. It was only a, a, one other guy was using it. And, um, but I, I just wouldn't let me do anything. So I'm just guessing I just wasn't a user on there and I didn't know I had to be like added on there. Okay, well, let me go ahead and look into that for you. And I'll contact uh -huh. you directly on that. Cause it could be, cause sometimes what happens is if it's not used after a certain amount of time, then it's definitely going to, um, it, it goes into inactive. Mm, okay, yeah. well, this was a, a while ago and um, I just ended up making, you know, using that flyer format, what it said, and then I just went to Staples and, you know. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okie doke. Yeah. So, so it could have been that it went inactive Okay. So if it went inactive, then we have to go ahead and go back and inactivate it for you. Okay. I don't think I was ever at it. You know what I mean? I just oh, okay. assumed I could just hop on there. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I was like struggling so hard. And it's like, oh my gosh. So, yeah, no worries. I'm going to go ahead and, and okay. work on that for you. I'll talk to what? Christopher on that. And then um, we'll, we'll, I'll contact you directly to get you your logins and all that good stuff. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys for attending. Go in, complete your profile, get going. Let's start getting some business, guys. Okay, will do. <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys so much and see you in the next class. Thank you. Bye-bye.